High mutable signs. Mutable signs. Gemini. Virgo. Sagittarius. And Pisces too. This is your 1111 portal and new moon in Scorpio tarot pool. Choo choo. <laughs> you know me, I know you. Welcome to this tarot pool choo choo. Yes, let's get this train on the go. Uh, welcome, Vamal Gila Gila. You are welcome here, Pisces Virgo. All the mutable signs. This is a new way of reading. Let's see. Let's see well, how we're going to do this. We got, yeah. Should we do the little minions? We do the minions, yes. We, if we really need a. Oh, if we need to burn. So this is the portal from 1111 to. Where is it? Yes, you know, I love my dragon's blood. 1111 to the new moon, which is on the 30th. For the mutable signs of our zodiac, which are in our mind. In my mind. Come to me, Clarice. <laughs> That's the wrong words. <laughs> well, who knows? Mutable signs. This reading is for you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Please hit the little bell for more notifications. And always remember that it's you, you must use your discernment in all things in life. This is an adults entertainment channel. So it really asks for you to discern which is for you and which is not. If it's not part of your story or situation, please don't hang on to it. Whatever you hang on to becomes your intentions. So make your intentions clear on this new moon over this weekend. From a Gila Gila, you are welcome in this space with me. Mutable signs, what can we together see? Just one card for an overall feeling for this. What are you doing here now, there? I should have washed my hands, eh? Mutable signs, Pisces, Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius. One card, please. Yeah. Nine of Spate is one in Ate. Ouch, ouch, ouch. This is the worst card to befall us. This is an ending. The worst card to be dealt. It's very cruel. It's like karma. It has no menu. It makes no distinctions. This could be your relative or your friend. Your frenemy or an indifferent person. The worst is an announcement of a passing of your spouse or your partner, maybe a parent. Ultimately, it could be your funeral. Nine, spache. Spades has always got to do with your health as it denotes to your Sacral uh, chakra. Let's see. But it could also mean the end. Oh, the lovers. You have a choice in love. You have a decision to make. Do you love life and live it as it loves you? Or do you end it? 
it's best not to. Remember, there is people who are professionals at understanding what you're going through and that you must always not look to a YouTube channel to find the answers. If you need somebody to speak to, always speak to a professional. This is also a sad card, the Seven of Pentacles. It's very dreamy. You see how he's looking very dreamy there? It's like you haven't got it. It's not in the hand. It's like you, all your work, all your hard work, in life or in a situation, it's not paying off really. Is it worth it? Should you end it today? Well, on this new moon, 555, five, five, as I said that. Come alive with 555. Five, five. I'm feeling I should take another pack of cards. Let's try them. Poker cards. One card from each pack. Hey? One card from each pack. Why not? I didn't think about it. I'm trying something new. So I will do the cardinal signs after this and then the fixed signs. So in each group of the fixed, the cardinals and the mutable signs, you have four signs each. And each sign is of a different element. One of air, one of fire, one of earth, one of water. So, this most tarot readers on YouTube will stick to those four elements. I've broadened it. There's two cards there. Eh? Three cards. Ten of clubs. Baron, <laughs> the Jack of Diamonds and the King of Hearts. Let's see what they can tell us about this portal going to the new moon on Monday. Well, this is definitely a person and this is a person and this is a message. This person, this Jack of Diamonds, is truly the messenger. <laughs> That's what he is here for. And he's coming, well, the card is coming to not be very nice. This is an unfaithful person in your life. Maybe it's an unemployee, an employee. Or a grifter, you know, this young person that you know, they, they come and they go. They take more than they should. They joke more than they should. They're very intelligent and very untrustworthy. And the King of Hearts, well, this is your king. This is you, maybe. An honest person. honest and very spiritual, kind-hearted and fair, a gentle, fine friend, maybe, definitely perfect and excellent for a life partner, passionate, amorous, hasty in love and also falling in love. So this message was going to come from this twit about the king who wants to fall in love. What is it? Well, bringing you fortune. The Ten of Clubs denotes fortune and financial success, material abundance, lucky investments, unexpected, unexpected inheritance, a windfall. Maybe you find a wallet in the street and an unexpected financial gain. So, well, you get in a message about this king who died 
and you're getting an inheritance. Basically, I think I say unto you, that is your reading inheritance. Think about that. When you go through this weekend, please take care. Because remember, you are the light at the end of your tunnel. And when life gets tougher, we all get smarter. And if you want it to be better, then you've got to just try harder. And it does get better. Salanigarte, Hambanigarte, Akaslifio, Ich liebe dich. Tschüss. Shalom. Salam alek. Totsins. See you later. Family, you're always welcome here. Tschüss. Totsins. Akaslifio. Let's make it 11 minutes at least. Yes? Yes. Yes, yes.